The first mission for the Brotherhood of Steel is now known. It's called Breaking Radio Silence and it's basically an introduction to the new Daily Ops system. Here's my complete guide. Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. Now, let me start by saying I know this mission is not live yet, but it is so short and so easy to do that I felt it was a great idea to put it together with my first explanation of the daily ops, just to give you a better insight of this new feature. It is true, this is a Brotherhood of Steel quest, the very first one since their return, and it's directly related to the daily ops because, well, these new operations are organized by this faction. So it's a clever way from Bethesda to get you introduced to the job with a small side quest. With that being said, let's jump into their new base, the new radio signal and the new mission as well. Let's start. Alright, so as you all should know by now, the Brotherhood of Steel ditched their old base at Fort Defiance to rebuild it at the Atlas Observatory. That's why we have been delivering supplies through the Fortifying Atlas Project Alpha and Bravo. This location has been changing over time and the main building should reopen in its due time. For now, we have a reworked exterior which looks more like a military base as intended. Bethesda added lots of defense items around the main building and you can now find the Brotherhood symbol all over the place and I mean it. There are at least 20 logos in this location alone. They really want to let you know Atlas now belongs to them. Moving forward, data miners have already decoded most of the radio signals, including the encrypted one, which is now displaying keywords instead of a beep. The radio messages basically report the Brotherhood's expedition progress to reach Appalachia. Feel free to stop the video and read the decrypted messages so far if you want to know all the details. Now, a few days ago, Bethesda enabled a brand new mission, the very first one for the return of this faction. It's called Breaking Radio Signal, and you should be able to see it in your side quest list the first time you log in after update 22 goes live. Here's what you have to do. Breaking Radio Silence is a very straightforward quest. The first step is to head to Watoga. You need to read a note which is located near the Watoga Civic Center. Now, the note is not inside the building or on top of it, as you might think. No, no, no. It's right in a nearby station which has been fully reworked for this quest. The Brotherhood has killed a few raiders and pinned their dead bodies to make a statement. Brutal and quite extreme, huh? Anyway, the note is an invitation from the Brotherhood of Steel. You should now head to the Watauga Towers to meet Initiate Varon Dodge. Just run to the left side until you find the metal stairs. You need to take the elevator in the platform to reach this area, which leads to the Watauga Towers exactly. Quite difficult to miss. Now, just go forward until you find the new NPC in his tech savvy room. He has a few special dialogue options as well as a lot of lore. You can ask him about himself, the Appalachian chapter of the Brotherhood, or even mention the old Fort Defiance. I'm not going to spoil the dialogue options for obvious reasons. To proceed with the quest, all you have to do is ask for more details about the urgent task he has for you, and he will tell you you must complete a daily operation. As I already said, this side quest is basically a short intro to the new feature. Let's proceed. Now it's time for some action. Finally, jokes apart, to complete a daily operation, you first need to start one, obviously. You can totally solo it, but if you want to optimize your time and achieve the best rewards possible without a lot of trouble, I recommend you to start or join a daily ops team. You can do that through your social tab, by the way. Now, why should you team up for this? First, more players means you can kill enemies faster, right? Secondly, players can speed up the 
operation by boosting the uplink connection. And lastly, your chances to die or get lost are way inferior in a team. Plus, you can easily unlock the Elder Rewards, which are the best you can get max once per day. So it's really a win-win scenario to team up for this. Now, for your information, when a team member joins a daily op, you will receive a notification on your top left corner. So keep an eye on it to make sure you join when others start the operation. Use your map to click on the available operation at the time and then press join to enter. Now, daily ops are not always the same. For starters, there are four different locations where daily ops can take place right now. The Boros, the Burning Mine, Valley, Galleria, and Vault 94. Despite the different locations, the operation logic is always the same though. You have to find and repair the signal repeater. Then you need to boost the signal by activating two uplinks located at different places inside the instance. The good thing here is that all of these mission items have a fixed spot for each location. For example, you can always find the signal repeater and the uplinks at the same exact spots in the burning mine and in the other locations too. So you will quickly learn all the spots for each location in its due time and get used to it. The learning curve is really not high for the daily ops. Anyway, during each task, several enemies will spawn and their abilities are not always the same either. There are currently five mutations. One is fixed, the piercing gaze, which increases enemy perception and makes stealth builds basically useless here. The other four are dynamic and always rotating. So yeah, your gameplay needs to change and adapt to the enemy mutations if you want to succeed, of course. For example, to fight resilient enemies, you need to use a melee weapon or you won't be able to finish them off for real. They will not die otherwise, no matter how many times you shoot them. Moreover, when it comes to active camouflage, you need to check where the shots are coming from to identify the invisible enemy presence. Now, something very important to know is that enemies in daily ops drop ammo. That's right, the one you use to kill them, actually, including ultrasight ammo, by the way. Also, if you kill them with melee weapons, they will drop random ammo instead. So make sure to loot the corpses to decrease your ammo consumption as you progress. It also spares you from farming as much ammo later on. So yes, definitely pick it up whenever you have the chance. Free ammo, who doesn't want it, huh? Moving forward, after securing both uplinks, the last enemy wave will spawn with a boss as well. The boss is a minor bullet sponge, so make sure to keep hitting him while keeping your HP high to ensure you don't die. We don't want that. Killing the boss will complete the operation and unlock the rewards accordingly to your performance in time. To reach the elder rewards, the very best, you need to finish the operation before 8 minutes. That's why you really should team up for this. It's so much easier and efficient when you do it with other players. Okay, now that you know the basics of daily ops and hopefully completed one by now, it's time to return to initiate dodge. Let me warn you, the quest rewards are very disappointing, but still, you want to complete the mission all the same, right? So head back to the Watoga Towers, tell dodge you did the urgent task he requested you, and the quest will be done shortly. Note that he will tell you the job is far from being done since there is a new daily operation every single day. It's pretty much a reminder that daily ops are a permanent daily feature, not just a one-time activity for a quest and that's it. Now, what can you get from daily ops? There are three reward tiers and lots of unique items to collect. The data miner Gilpu has already shared the entries and respective percentages. Basically, the elder tier has the highest chance to reward you with the great stuff, such as the new rare and uncommon plants, which includes new weapons and new camp items as well. You can also get caps, script, and even treasury notes as the base rewards. So make sure to always aim for Elder once per day if you want to unlock all the new goodies as fast as possible. Well, 
Happy farming and best of luck! Breaking radio silence is one of the easiest quests I have ever done in Fallout 76, but I am sure there are many more missions on the way as the Brotherhood settles in their new base at the Atlas Observatory. As a daily ops intro quest, I think it is acceptable, however, I think they should have included some more details about the way daily ops work. For a player who just heard about it for the very first time, the in-game details are very little and this quest doesn't really add much to your knowledge either. Anyway, that's everything for this video. I hope you were able to learn something new and remember, Daily Ops is going live with update 22 very soon. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. I am Marta Branco, thank you for having me. Thanks to my dear patrons for all their continuous support. Check the links below the video if you would like to support me even further by the way. And I will see you all very very soon in the next one. Until then, take care, adios, bye! Bye-bye!